Good day, guys. Welcome to Head Over the Footy. Today we're going to be talking AFL opening round. The first few games of the season will be played in the northern states of Australia, and I've come full circle on this. At the start, I was a little bit skeptical. Thought the AFL should be having their very first game, at least in Melbourne. But I read an article over the weekend in the Age from Andrew Wu, and he's suggesting in the article that crowds and records could be broken in these very first few games obviously we know the NRL has taken some of their games to Las Vegas so that's resulted in a limited amount of games clashing with these AFL games hence why these crowds could be increasing I think it's a stroke of genius from Andrew Dillon and his team at the AFL we're seeing some of the crowd numbers here 40,000 or more are expected for the Sydney and Melbourne game the very first game of the season only once has that venue exceeded 40,000 in a um, AFL game, and that was in Buddy's farewell in the in the final game last year. The next best after that 40,000 is 33,127, which was back in 2004. So we're talking some pretty significant records here that are set to be broken, and what a move from the AFL if they're able to achieve this. In the other games, the Lions are hopeful of packing out the Gabba against... Carlton in its clash on Friday night. A giant spokesperson said the club was expecting tickets to sell out a week out from their prelim rematch against Collingwood, which is on Saturday. Um, And they're expecting the Giants to eclipse their record home crowd outside of a derby or final, which is 15,000. So it's looking like they'll be breaking that uh, record there and, and they're even pushing to break their best home crowd attendance record of 21,924 against the Swans back in 2017. So I was a bit worried at the start because I thought the first very first game of the season should be in Melbourne. Obviously the heartland of footy, this is where the most fans are in Melbourne. I still think the first game in Melbourne, which won't be in the very start of the season, Um, but it'll be a little bit later than that. I still think that's going to attract a sellout. Um, It'll be a very good crowd. I don't think it'll be too much less than what uh, that that first game of the season usually gets in Melbourne. So overall, looking at this, I really think it's a great move from the AFL. The NRL, they're starting off their season in Las Vegas. Hey guys, just going to pause the episode there and talk socials. We've got a Facebook, Instagram and TikTok page here at Head Over The Footy. All our best clips go onto that page. So be sure to give us a follow and uh, you will never miss a moment. So please do that. I look forward to seeing your follow request after this show. And uh, for now, enjoy the rest of this episode. The AFL, the NRL, they're starting off their season in Las Vegas. Some of these games, then they're going to have some of these games will clash with the AFL ones. But on Thursday night, their game is in Newcastle, and that's when the AFL's first game of the season will be. On the Friday night, they've got a game in Auckland, and the other game's in Melbourne. So there's no competition there for fans in Sydney or Queensland to be choosing an NRL game or an AFL game. So... It's really a good move here from the AFL. And on Saturday, there isn't a direct clash with the AFL game and NRL game. So there's a real window of opportunity here, especially with the AFL's first two games of the season. And uh, even the Suns game, uh, where they'll be taking on Richmond. Damien Hardwick obviously coaching the Suns now um, against his former club in Richmond. The Suns, they're confident though that they'll get a better crowd of 19,000 that they had in Gary Ablett's first game in round one 2014. So interesting times. I think the AFL have made a good move here and AFL fixture boss Josh Bowler said that they would uh, see how this year's opening round would go before uh, deciding to repeat it again in 2025 next year. Uh, But the NRL, it seems like they're potentially going to lose a bit despite what they're going to gain from having a game in Las Vegas. Peter Volandi is the chairman of the NRL. It might just be 
a little bit of a poor decision from them uh, and probably really good thinking as well. They, they probably wouldn't have seen the AFL coming here with this idea to go up to the northern states. I feel like they're really targeting these northern states, particularly Queensland. Brisbane have gained a bit of momentum over the last few years and Gold Coast as well are, are picking up and doing, doing as best as they can. But I think they're really targeting that Queensland area and trying to make it an AFL state which is a big thing to say. I've spoken to locals in Queensland who just laugh at that sometimes and and say that it's clearly a rugby state. Absolutely, I agree it is. But I think the AFL are continuing to chip away and gain a few more AFL supporters in Queensland. Don't know if that's entirely true, just what I'm sort of gauging and um, from what I'm hearing. But maybe you Queenslanders can... Let me know what the go is because we're seeing these record crowds coming to the Gabba. So that says something. Uh, AFL opening round, big tick in my book. We'll see how it plays out. These crowds and people have still got to rock up. But in this article that I read in The Age, it sounded pretty promising. So let's see what happens.